Uh, going on to physical properties now. Uh, so physical properties, um, we're looking, the first one's melting and boiling point. Uh, so if you increase the carbon chain, uh, you will then, number one, increase the molecular weight, number two, increase the London dispersion forces. So try not to use intermolecular forces um, in your wording, try and specify it down to either London dispersion, dipole, dipole, or hydrogen bonding. Uh, and so that is why increasing homologous series generally increases melting boiling point because the carbon chain increases, which increases the molecular weight and increases the London dispersion forces. Uh, another point to put in here is if you have um, rounded compounds, the surface area is very minimal, uh, whereas if you have uh, straight chains, uh, then the surface area is quite large. So the, the London dispersion forces will increase uh, for chains and decrease for globular rounded um, shaped molecules. Uh, so that will uh, cause a decrease in London dispersion forces. That will cause an increase in London dispersion forces. The other thing we need to look at is solubility. So like dissolves like. Uh, and so if we're looking for solubility in water, uh, we want something that's small. Uh, so even if it's small and nonpolar, like oxygen and nitrogen, it will dissolve. Uh, even if it is very large, it, uh, such as a protein, um, if it has many hydrophilic groups on it, it will dissolve as well. So ultimately you want both. You want something both small and polar, like ethanol or sodium chloride, uh, and that'll have a high uh, solubility. Uh, so if you're comparing two different compounds, the one that is um, all things being equal, uh, the larger molecular weight will be less soluble or the one with less strong uh, hydrogen bonds, uh, such as just dispersion or dipole, uh, will be weaker than the compound that has more hydrogen bonding uh, on it per, per surface area. Okay, uh, physical properties. Uh, so general, uh, general approach, first work out what sort of IMFs there are, look at the molecular weight and look at the shape. So don't forget all three of those things in analysing which compound you think will have um, the better solubility or the better melting boiling point. So here's an example question. Um, usually you can jump straight to it. So hydrogen bound to carbon, oxygen, nitrogen is not there. They're both aldehydes, they both have the same group. So the only difference is it's a longer chain. So longer chain, uh, we want to mention London dispersion forces. Um, depending on how many marks the question is, we probably want to mention that they both have dipole, dipole. Um, so that's equal. But uh, because there's a longer chain, uh, the propanol uh, will have a higher melting boiling point. Uh, What's this one asking for? Explain the physical properties. So there's solubility talked about here. So the same sense as well, it's a longer chain. Uh, and so it won't be as soluble as ethanol uh, because the um, dispersion forces will not interact with the hydrogen bonding of the water. Uh, just throwing that slide up there in case you're thinking of questions or you wanna do some analysis in class. Um, a lot of those, um, the molecular weights are pretty much the same. So you can just uh, take a good analysis of where the functional groups are, what type of IMFs there are. And, and um, there's also a little bit of steric hindrance involved in that. Uh, so maybe the functional group is um, surrounded by something, uh, some methyl groups or so that's not making it as effective. 